and welcome to Messages from Above, Psychic Medium, Tony G. This is being recorded for WSCS, which is um, uh, where my TV show um, airs, uh, Psychic Medium, Tony G. So if you are watching this on YouTube, welcome and thank you for being here. If you would like to call in and ask a question, the number is, I should have this memorized and I really don't, but the number is 845-277-9138. Um, so I, I'm running the switchboard that I'm using for callers. So I won't be um, answering questions that are typed in via uh, YouTube. That's it, okay. so. I want to say again, thank you to everybody who um, reached out and gave their condolences and sent cards and flowers um, for the passing of my mom. And that's actually why I didn't YouTube last week, because uh, I, I, I actually did my show. I just didn't do it on video because I uh, did not want to... I didn't want to break down on air. So there we go. <laughs> brutal honesty. <laughs> That's the best I can do right now, being blatantly and brutally honest. Um, so uh, today I will be taking callers as I always do. I will let you ask one question or one connection. And I will... Uh, do my best to do my best for you to bring that information or that connection through. Having said that, please limit yourself to one question. If you have a lot of questions or follow-up questions to my answer, you might want to consider booking a session with me. Um, this is not for you to get a full-on reading. This is if, you know, you have that one question you want to ask or you need to ask or you want to find out something, then I'm happy to do that for you. But if if my answer leads you to another question, go to my website, look at all of my options there and decide if that's that might be the best way for you to go. Also, oh, poo, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was actually gonna promote my books today, but I forgot to bring them over. So I have seven books. Um, <clears throat> which each and every one was channeled through me for you. Um, and it, the, the link for each of these books is in the description. So please, if you're interested in any of my books, um, absolutely click that link and uh, take a look at them. Whichever one you're drawn to is the one that is probably for you at this time. There was one other thing thing one other little thing i was supposed to discuss <laughs> um oh i'm going to be doing a lot more youtube lives and i'm working on how that's going to look if i'm going to keep doing it with the call-in or just um in another way but if you would like to know when i'm going to be going live on youtube you can hit that subscribe and notification button and then you'll not miss me, right? Is that how I say that? Is that what I say? Um, so here we go. I'm going to go to the first caller on uh, the call log and I'm going to go to um, 469. Hi, 469, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm Will. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for asking. How can I help you? What's your question of the day? Yes, I was calling because um, I was trying to see when do you see me being able to relocate to Atlanta? Okay. Um, the first thing I hear is that this is really up to you. Once you uh, make I feel like you have an inner conflict with this, okay? I feel like something inside of you is, uh -huh. uh, like it's like that 
that song, Should I Stay or Should I Go Now? If I go, there will be trouble. But if I stay, it will be double. <laughs> like, I am, you know what? That song is like a great friend of mine because that song has not left my head in like over a month. Okay. So it can, it can pertain to any subject whatsoever. I'm going to tell you once you definitively make this choice, once you say, you know what? ready, set, go, nothing is stopping me, everything's going to fall into place. Now, I want to remind everybody, you have free will, no matter what anybody tells you, no matter what situation you're going through, you can decide to make it work where you are, you can decide to make it work in a new place. It's just a matter of what do you feel in your heart? What do you feel what are you really passionate about? And once you have that feeling, the universe will align and put you where you need to be in whatever situation it is. So I want to tell you, as far as Atlanta goes, I hear that in a month to a month and a half, which puts us mid-March, right around mid to late March, something's going to, actually, that puts us late March. Because we're here. So that puts us late March, possibly close to April. Um, something something is going to pop in your head. Something is going to um, open up. And all of a sudden, you're just going to be like, what am I doing? Why am I doing it this way? It's time for me to like move in a new direction, make a new choice, break these patterns, break these habits. So what I'm going to do is, you know, we all have that inner conflict of trying to decide what choice to make. So right now I'm going to just, for you and everybody listening, I'm going to do that um, clearing for inner conflict. So let's do that right now. Um, and I know how difficult it can be to make a choice, especially to relocate to a whole nother area. I feel like when we are making big life choices, sometimes, you know, there's, there's the head, the heart, and then there's feeling it. And we just really need to feel it. We need to feel what's the right timing and what's the right place. And again, I just want to say in a month to a month and a half, something's going to pop on like a like a light bulb moment and you are going to know exactly where you want to go and what you want to do and I do feel like you will be relocating um don't wait on anybody else to give you the go ahead or say come now if this is something you really want you have to reach in and you just have to do it and it should not be dependent on another person or their situation or when they're ready. And that's just another thing I'm getting for you. So I'm gonna tell everybody, I'm, I'm what I'm going to do uh, moving forward is once I get your question, I'm gonna mute you so the background noises don't, don't end up in the show. And I, I know that there might be uh, more questions that you have, um, but again, it's it's kind of one one and like one and done. That sounds so horrible. I'm sorry for the way I said that, but um, I don't want the background noises um, interfering with um, the show, especially since this is for TV. Also, I am going to be doing a lot more clearings, and as a matter of fact, let's start that now. I really want to clear us to be abundant, and I'm going to use the word abundant today because I think in love, in in every area of our life, we are supposed to be extremely abundant. And this is um, something that is our birthright. We didn't come here to suffer. People think we're here to learn lessons. Yes, but there are many ways to learn a lesson. And suffrage is not supposed to be the way that we learn every single lesson. There's the easy way, the suffering way, the difficult way, the I'm not going to learn this way. I've, I, that's probably me a lot more than you. Uh, the stubborn way, that's probably a lot more me than you. Um, 
but I, I just want to channel for a minute here. And I know whatever I'm about to channel, I feel like is really going to answer a lot of questions for everybody who's listening, re-listening, uh, watching. Uh, I just want to tell you, okay, so when I channel, um, it just comes out of me. So whatever is said is said, okay? So we are here to have this pure, beautiful existence. It's our own mind that gets in the way of being in this place where we can have uh, this amazing experience here. And I know, listen, we all have, we all have circumstances and upbringings and partners at, at um, uh, work and in life. And, but you know what, but you know what, stop blaming other people. Because the moment you give somebody else that power, the moment you give somebody else that um, control over your life, I'm not happy because I have a coworker. I'm not happy because my my man or my woman isn't behaving exactly as I think they should. Oh, guess what? Now they own you. Okay. Now they own you. Now that the person who owns your emotions and how you respond to things is the person that owns you and rules your day. Ooh. Okay. Then <laughs> so, I think they might be saying this for me also, but I hope it's for you too. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't like talking that firm to people. I like to be more like, Oh, it's all love and light. No, I'm not like that either. <laughs> but what I'm going to tell you, it, and it's so they're not letting me even distract and joke about this today, folks. I love you so much. So please do not be offended by this. If something in this is making you say, what? What the fudge sickles? That's not true. Take a breath and continue to listen. Take a breath and re-listen. Because those things that trigger us the most, those statements that really get to us are the statements that we need to hear. And believe me, some of the things they're saying right now, I might not love them either, but we have to, we have to let them talk. We have to hear this stuff, okay? <clears throat> when you are in control of your emotional thoughts and feelings, that is is when your life starts to bloom in a beautiful way. Now, let me add to that. It's not only you being in control of your emotions and your thoughts, right? How you feel and what you're thinking. It's you controlling them in a way that comes with strength and dignity for yourself. In a way that... Um, is in a positive nature, is in a positive nature. Once you get to that space where you're not in denial and you're not just going, oh, everything is pure bliss, pure happiness, pure joy. Faking it will not make it. It has to be sincere and true. You, Yes, there are affirmations, don't get me wrong. But you have to correct what's going on in your mind and in your environment so you can get to that place where you are in control and truly driving your vehicle yourself to the direction you want to go. If you are allowing others, even others from your past, and we all have done this and we all still do it, where something comes up and we think of that person from 20 years ago that did this or 10 years ago or five years ago or two days ago that did this and all that feelings come up still. We haven't let that go. We haven't said, I'm over this. I'm done with this. I'm in control emotionally. This is possibly one thing that's very difficult for us to do. Because when something happens, yes, it did happen. And our perspective of what happened is always a perspective of what happened to us. 
not a perspective of what happened for us. Okay? Now, if we have the perspective of what happened for us, this person was removed, or this person said that, or this happened here, and not all cases are the same, but all cases lead to one thing. How much do I still love myself? Did I let what external things happened affect internal love? for myself and others, or, or did I start building a wall? Now the wall's way up here. We can't even see anything anymore. Woo. You can't see me. I can't see you. I like it like this. We've got to take down that wall because it doesn't serve us. It just hurts us. It, it keeps us living in that emotional turmoil. So, Having said all of that, I want you to know the person in control of your emotions is the person who wins. And when you are in control of your emotions, your thoughts, your feelings, how you react, oh my goodness, reacting. Oy vey, right? Oh my goodness. We react to things and we're like, where did that come from? <laughs> Say that. That's not what I meant. That's not what I want. I want this, but my ego or my fear made me say this, right? We do this all the time. So once we get in that space where we are strong enough, we're so strong that we can remain calm, we can be in control of our emotions, we can start to feel things the way they really are. And when we feel things the way they really are, everything unfolds for us and our vibration, our energy, our frequency starts to raise and we do that leveling up. Okay, where we're now, we're not reacting, we're not stating, we're not whatever it is. We're just moving forward and we're here. And that's where we need to be. That's that's just where we should be with every circumstance in life, okay? Inner conflict is emotional conflict. If I do this and we have all these scenarios for this, if I do that, we have all these scenarios for that. And how many of them are good? And what if none of the scenarios we have been thinking ever happen? To be in an abundant life, we must have abundance of love inside of us for us. So this is the question when people say, I do love myself. I ask them, do you like yourself? Do you like everything about you? Right? Because until you like everything about you, chances are you don't have that complete self-love for yourself. And here's how I, people don't like this. So uh, this is your warning. If you don't want to hear this, I hope you don't get offended by this. But so a baby is born and we have this pure love for this baby and there's nothing wrong with this baby, right? But the moment we start seeing things wrong with this little baby or the child, or the pet, right? The little dog or the kitty. There's nothing wrong with them. That's a reflection of what's uh, what we are supposed to heal inside of ourselves. Really, it, it trust me, it is. It's not the. It's never the other person. In in ninety percent of the cases, I mean, yeah, there there are some people out there that are narcissist, but then what drew them to you? Why were you in a situation with them? Right? There are people out there that are sociopaths. Now, I'm not speaking to anybody specifically. So don't call me and leave me a voicemail about this because I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying in general, but what drew that sociopath or narcissist to you? What about you? And it's not always that you're so loving and giving. Sometimes it is. But sometimes it's that we don't have healthy boundaries, right? 
we let people get away with a little bit more than they should, right? So we have to own our emotions. We have to be healthy in our emotions. So let's do, we have emotional stability. And we're going to clear that to a yes. So we do have that emotional stability because things that happened in the past and things that are happening now and things that happen in the future, they should not affect us. We should be able to move on and be strong regardless of. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the next caller now. That was... I like that. Thank you guys for coming through. We're going to go to 630. Good morning, 630. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, 630. Okay. I am going to then go to uh, 951. Hello, 951. How are you? Hi, kid. How are you doing? It's Nathaniel calling. Hey, Nathaniel. How are you? What's that? Well, you said good. It's been a bit of time. I'm so happy Thank to you. hear from you. Oh, great. How, how can um, I... Thanks for taking my call. Up. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I want to see if... Uh -huh. What did you say? How can I help you today, Nathaniel? Uh, Lori, uh, let me see. Um, uh, I wanted to see if I could get a message uh, from mom or dad or something about my current life right now. Okay, I see both of them. And the first thing that I'm hearing is stay strong. The storm is almost over. This week is going to be a bit difficult, but don't worry. It's going to get better. Um it's it's going to be a challenging week, Nathaniel, but, you know, I want to say that um, a, sometimes when things come out and things open up and we see things the way, the way they are, it's again, it's never to hurt. It's never it's never happening to us. It's always happening for us. And the key is stability. Stability is the key. They're saying that. Uh, don't, when you can, when it's possible, get that grounding that you need and that stability and that independence. Um, and Nathaniel, you are really, uh, the other thing they're saying is you are really reaching for, um, uh, what is that called? like a, a bonding, bonding or a, co a connection, connection with people. And I think everybody is right now, not to take away from your message, but the circumstances that are going on right now all have us feeling a little abandoned and isolated. And uh, we, we want that connection. We want to be in that situation again. Um, but the one thing, <clears throat> excuse me, the one thing I'm hearing for you is it's time for you to pool your resources and be a little bit independent. Um, don't let other people determine your uh, your um, uh, situation, your situation. Um, and, and again, they're saying pool your resources, pool your resources. Um, and, uh, you know, I can take a million different guesses at what this would mean for you. And I've had people in the past say, oh, I, I know exactly what that means. But then when it happens, they're like, oh, this is how it unfolded. So be open to what's coming in. They're showing me um, two golden coins coming down. One of them is one is in the near future and then one is a little further off, but it's a bigger coin. Now, I don't want you to think that this is like uh, huge or anything, but it is resources that are going to come in. And these resources are going to help you to get that stability, to get that foundation underneath you. And when they do come in, I'm hearing use them wisely. 
Go like rescue yourself, rescue yourself. These resources are coming in specifically for you with the intention of putting you in that place that you're supposed to be in. Now, whether that place is emotionally, physically, a home, a, 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 a better financial, whatever it is for you, oh, when that time comes, you're going to know that. But until that time, they want you to really use your power of prayer and manifestation. And I always, manifestation has been overused and kind of turned into something. It really, it's just been exploited. Okay. So what I'm going to say to you is use your power of prayer, communicate in an honest and open way from the heart with those that you communicate with during prayer. Um, and if you do this, and I cannot be more uh, like explicit about this, be brutally honest with yourself about what you want and then with them about what you want. But don't go into a prayer um, not knowing or saying, whatever you feel is best for me that's that's you have to get in alignment with what you're really looking for what you really want and how you want that to look and then feel that and then prayer it out um if we can't feel something truly it there's a chance it can't come to us and i'm going to use this as an example because everybody always says this to me, oh, if I, you know, I really want to win the lottery. Okay, well, a lot of people do. But can you even in your mind comprehend having that amount of money? Can you even in your mind comprehend how, let's just say $40 million would make you feel? Could you comprehend um, feeling that could you could you comprehend the responsibility that comes with that amount of money and most people they've not thought it that far but until you can comprehend what that feels like and all it encompasses chances are that's not going to happen but for you for you Nathaniel I want to say first that and before before I run out of time, they really want to say they love you and you're doing a great job and keep moving forward no matter how challenging this week may be. And I'm not saying it's going to be a completely uh, horrible week. I'm saying know that there are going to be one or two challenges, but no, also know how strong you are. And just keep moving forward in the way that you're supposed to be strategic about things. There are two amounts of money that are coming to you. And when those monies, uh, that money, <laughs> those monies, <laughs> when that money does come to you, again, be strategic about it. These two amounts of money are not coming in at the same time. They're coming in from different sources, not a monthly source. Okay, thank you everybody so much for joining me today. I love you so much. And remember, it's your job to make miracles in your life. Take responsibility and own it. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. And over here at YouTube, now I am, I got off of Blog Talks. So I just want to say thank you everybody on youtube for joining me here today thank you genevieve i love you hi kyra i think that's how you say your name thank you for joining me again if you um hit the subscription or the notification button you'll know every time i come on i'm going to start doing some spontaneous things with youtube well i think i am We'll see how that works out. <laughs> Thank you so much again and have an absolutely amazing week. Go make some miracles.